I was just so confused when I saw the mic. Why is there a mic? What is it for? I've never seen this in another um, in other electric violins, even the ones that I've. Hi everyone, I'm Eliza Jem and I'm a professional violinist who specializes in events and shows. And today we are here at the JB Music flagship store along EDSA, specifically inside their rehearsal studio. Now, today we're going to talk about the Cremona SV 180 BKE and I'm really so excited to use this and to try this out because I've been using for about 90% of my performances since about seven years ago, I've always been using electric violin. So I'm really excited to try this out. Let's go ahead and unbox. All right, let's start with the bag. So the violin is enclosed in the standard Cremona full-size bag with straps over there. Na hindi pa nakakabet. So you can find it inside probably later. This is very uh, common sa mga Cremona cases naman. Let's start opening it. Okay, two zippers and... Um, Meron tayo dito ng ano Velcro. So for say extra safety. Now let's open the case. Okay, here we can find that there is already a stock bow. Yeah, naka plastic pa siya for safety. And then meron siyang cover then. Yeah. And then there are other inclusions. So before we get to the violin, I want to show you guys yung mga kasama niyang accessories. Here we have headphones, yeah, with the one eight size, yeah, standard though. We also have the cable, na one eight the yung size, yeah. Okay. We also have a free rosin, Cremona brand. Should I open this? Yeah, and it's small and it's free, so it's fine. So here are the straps. These are adjustable. You can just install them whenever you want. Personally though, I don't install my straps because I like to hand carry my violin. Alright, so here we have the Cremona SV180 BKE and let's look at its spec. Just looking closely at it, it is a sparkling black color and I'm not sure if it can be seen in the camera but it has fine glitters over here. So, pag na spotlight tanto, it's gonna be really, really pretty. Um, let's talk about the fitting. So, we have the normal pegs, the peg box, we have the tail, we have the chin rest, uh, which are all very standard naman. It's similar to the acoustic violin and other electric violins as well. And it's also has adjusters over here, which makes tuning a lot more efficient. Okay, what I like about this, I just really want to mention this, is that the bridge is also made out of wood and that means that it can closely mimic the sound of an actual violin and this has been like a debate to some violinists both hobbyists and mga professional like me some would want you a more electrified sound yung mga rocker jan but i actually personally prefer that i just mimic your natural sound and it's just amplified beautifully and cleanly so not to worry though because you can actually just plug it in a preamp if you want it to be more raspy and more distorted but as for me i like that it's very very close to the natural sound all right let's take a look at the back side okay here we go so here the back side we can see that there is the battery here it's nine volts and of course the power button that's off right now and you will know it's on when you see the red light okay let's talk about the knobs this time so we have a volume knob on my left on your right and an eq or a tone knob over here on my right now the tone knob is actually an extra special detail because not all electric violins have this in iba volume lang now this is eq which can control the brightness of your violin. So preference-wise, you know, everybody's different. I just like it in the middle because, again, the violin is naturally a little bit bright, but also we don't want it to sound stringy. Um, I prefer it to just be in the middle because I like to mimic the natural sound of the acoustic violin. And also here you can see that we have three outputs available. Now, uh, later on, we're probably going to zoom the product in, but here in the first one, we have the phone jack ready. This is for your headphones. Yan, may nakaready na po tayo na available. But you can also use any kind of earphones or mga IEMs. Basta kasha sa 3.5, we're all good to go. 
Second, we have the mic jack. Now, this is very, very unique. I don't have this in my other electric violins. Um, you can actually plug a lapel. Later on, we're gonna try to plug this lapel over here. And even as you play, you can also use the mic. So, sa mga singing violinists natin dyan, mga nag-show and tell, Christmas party, or maybe hold a lesson, like a master class lecture on how to do, you know, like violin and explain para hindi tayo pabalik-balik sa mic, hawak ng ganito. We have a bow on the other hand. This is just genius. This is pure genius. I really love it. It's something new to me and obviously you can see my eyes. I'm so, wow. Okay, very good. Very good kayo, Cremona. Lastly, we have the 1A PL Jack ready na output. So, it's also included here. A while ago, I've mentioned this. We have the 1A. This is perfect sa bahay. Okay, so, you wanna practice late night, natapos na yung gig mo, may kailangan ka pang aralin. You don't want to disturb your mom. You don't want to disturb your neighbors, your pets maybe. You can just put the jack in and then you can connect that to your small maybe amp, pwedeng laptop, pwedeng anything that you can you can plug it in and iko lang yung makakarinig. Of course, there's also the headphone version for practice, but you know, sometimes we want to practice with a more natural sound. You may timpla na with the preamp yan. So, pwede, pwede rin to, so that we can control the volume at home. Now, paano naman outside? Puro practice, puro at home, puro hindi maririnig and we cannot disturb. Don't you worry because if you look at the side, yan, surprise, we actually have the standard one-fourth PL na available dito na output. Okay, so later on also, we're gonna try this and basically, I think I've shown everything. Let's do a sound test. Now, first of all, I wanna try kung gumagana talaga etong headphone in. Now, um, I'll use my personal earphones muna. This one is Sennheiser 100 and I've been using this for a really long time. Most comfortable with this one. I'm sure that the stock headphones will work. So, let's test lang kung talagang kaya niya rin yung iba. Walang ibang nakasaksak dito. So, walang one-fourth and also walang one-eighth jack. So, let's see if maririnig natin siya dito without the, without the line outs. Oh! Oh, meron, meron! There is! Okay. And of course, let's check kung gaano kalakas siya. Dito, if you feel ko lang. Oh, okay. okay. That's, that's pretty loud. and Which means that you can play to your heart's content. Sa bahay, walang may istorbong neighbor. Hindi tayo mababarangay. Safe. Alright, so let's now test the second output. This time, we're going to test yung mga line out naman. Alright, so we have the stock 1 8 na line out here. And to test this out, we are going to go ahead and use the Sennheiser XS Wireless Digital. So, yan. Okay, and then itong end naman ito, I'll go ahead and connect this to our Sennheiser XS Wireless Digital. Now, bakit kailangan pa sa Wireless Digital? Actually, hindi naman kailangan, but this is a preference of mine because as violinist, ang hirap-hirap gumalaw. You know, when you have your violin on your shoulder and imagine na napupul yung cable, imagine niyo na lang, wag yun ang experience So, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm just gonna plug the other side, itong one-fourth na PL side, to our Sennheiser. Yan. Tapos, ang gagawin ko dito is, I could, if I'm wearing a dress or anything, I could just hide it sa back side. In fact, if you don't want to use the stock one, and you agree with me na mas maganda talaga ang wireless, you can also purchase shorter cables para very mobile and very work and performance friendly na siya. All right, so let's test this out. I put the EQ level or the tone level just at the middle and also yung volume at the middle. And then later on, let's explore turning those knobs. Okay, so this is the 1 8 jack. Naka connect po tayo against the Sennheiser XS Wireless Digital. Here we go. Okay, let's just do a basic scale. Not bad, the bar is kind of just sound like the actual violin. Could be improved, but definitely not bad for just on its own. 
Okay, so that's it for the 1/8, Jack. This time, we're gonna go ahead and do the standard PL. This is the more commonly used one also for mga electric guitars and also yung mga plug-in acoustic guitars, which means you can find this in any store but buy it from the JB Music Store. Okay, so this is just your standard 1/4 to 1/4 PL. Ayan. Yung mga gumagamit na talaga ng electric violin, alam nyo na to. Ayan, meron na kayo nito. So, yung violin na lang yung bibilin nyo. Great. Great news. Okay. Again, I'm just gonna go ahead and plug this. Also gonna plug this here. So, wireless natin. Okay. And I'll turn this on. Ayun, on na siya. Alright, let's give it a go. And again, I pride this so much in sounding. Of course, it's not the acoustic violin, but very close. Now that's only in flat palang. Let's, you know what? Let's experiment this time with the EQ. Now I'm not gonna promise that you're gonna like all the levels of this because this is preferential. But let's go ahead and try dun sa lowest, which means it's gonna sound kulob. Okay, but you know what? Whatever floats your boat, right? So this is in the lowest setting. And this is in the highest setting. I max out ko lang para alam niyo yung sagad. So this is the highest one. And there's a clear difference between those two samples, which means the knob actually works. Okay, and again, a tip ko lang is just stay in the middle if you're you know not so sure what to do. Right now, um, the volume knob is also in the middle. Let's just max it out para lang may experience niyo din yung difference. Okay, so I'm gonna max it out. Let's see how loud it can go. Okay, wow, that's really good. However, I want you to note and Real talk lang to. If you put the volume to the max level, the sensitivity is also max. So again, I would advise dun lang tayo medyo malapit sa gitna or maybe a little over that para hindi masyadong marinig yung taps ng violin. Unless that's what you're going for. Again, it's a preferential thing. But nothing too serious. I don't think it's a big con. It's not a problem. Okay, next... And the most unique feature, I believe, that this Cremona SV180 VKE has is the mic. I was just so confused when I saw the mic. Why is there a mic? What is it for? I've never seen this in another um, in other electric violins, even the ones that I've used before. Only usually only two. There's the headphone jack, and then there would be the line out. Sometimes isa lang, one eighth lang, sometimes one fourth lang. Um, occasionally there will be both, but this is the first time I've encountered a mic jack. So I want to try that out. Ayan, oh, yan, kumagat na siya. And while playing, or siguro in between, you can actually use the lapel. Hello? Inig ba siya? Sound check. Ayan! So what is this perfect for? So yung iba dyan, nag-vlog, nagbabusk, or maybe you're doing a performance lecture, baka nagtuturo ka at ayaw mong sumigaw, or trip mo lang, which is the, wow, perfect, di ba? Pwedeng pwede. This is very unique also for those who maybe would like to sing while they perform. Halo, you don't need to reach out for um, a dynamic mic na. Ito na. So, sige, test lang natin kung kaya. Magsasalita ako habang tumutugtog, okay? And that, my friends, is the D major scale. Ayan, rinig ba siya? Can it be heard? Ayan, ayan. Okay. Very unique and very, very special. Um, I think we've explored all the sound tests now of this violin very quickly, very briefly, and at the same time, I really want to share with you guys just my general um, inputs, mga thoughts ko about 
the Cremona SV180 BKE. Let's start with the cons. Para honest review tayo. What I don't like about this is you cannot see it in the video, but it's actually a little bit heavy. So, medyo you might need to build your endurance for this one. But as a violinist who plays almost every day, sa totoo lang, I don't mind. But probably max ko dito would be 30 to 40 minutes straight and I might need a break. So, I would say this is really good for shows. Kasi ang shows naman, maybe a long prod number would be about 15 minutes long. Mahaba na yun. Which won't affect much. But again, I just want to note na medyo mabigat talaga siya. Another thing that I don't like much about it is that it runs on a 9 volt battery. Now, why? What's wrong with that? Nakakalimutan ko yan. So, it's not a big issue, but you might want to make sure that you always have an extra or two extra batteries in your case. Because if that runs out mid performance, you're gonna be in a lot of trouble because wala itong rechargeable port. Hindi siya dual powered. We don't have anything like that. It only runs on 9 volt batteries. So, again, not very ideal, but it's uh, not very deadly as well. Just need to pay attention. And lastly, I am just not a fan of the stock items, yung stock strings and yung stock na rosin niya. So I would recommend restringing it, setting it up with a better set and then yung, yung rosin then replace it with something better. But for beginners, it's very friendly. Gagana naman yan. It's just very tiny and it won't really last you a long while. Things that I loved about this instrument are number one, you can use it as I've explained inside the house for practice, silent practice, Band practice, maliit na room, medyo malaki na room because you have this small 1/8 na output. So okay na yan, safe na tayo. Now, what if wala ka ng 1/8 na output? Although meron tayong stock dyan, ha? Gusto mo 1 fourth? Meron din tayo dyan. Asa na siya? Ayan. You also have the 1 fourth na output. And this is standard. By the way, you can also use this indoor but this is also something i would recommend for you to use on your shows your events your weddings your serenades your busking kasi ito naman talaga yung standard na output so again very very versatile itong mga to because it's very standard you can also connect it to preamps which i also recommend so if you're not too happy with the current sound you can still enhance that I would recommend using the Zoom AC2 if you just want to enhance the natural sound of it. Um, but for those who want a more electric -y sound, more distorted, mas rakista tayo dyan, mga silent sanctuary fans, you can also use the other Zoom preamps na mas designed for the electric one. So no problem. We've got all of that here at JB Music Store. Another thing that I love about this, oh my favorite part, it's actually not that pricey. It's very cost efficient. Nakita niyo naman lahat ng specs. It's very versatile. The only thing really that I don't like much about this are the consumables. Yung strings and yung rosin. It's heavy, uh, which is not really a big deal for most of us. So, I guess I actually love it. I really love it. It's cost efficient. As for the accessories naman, yung, and the new strings natin, I would recommend the Diderio na Zyx. Ayan, we have it here. Ayan, I use this also for my other electric violins. It's pretty sturdy. Lasted me, um, I think, more than a year. Di ko nga matandaan when I last bought this to be, to be honest. I can't remember. I think it was a year ago. So I'm also gonna replace the stock strings with also the Zyx here, the Dario. It's also actually very cost efficient din to. You can check out the JB website or the stores near you for the price. Yung sa rosin naman, this has always been a debate to violinists, but I always go for the most cost efficient. I would recommend the Kaplan Artcraft Rosin number no. 7. Light or dark, but um, preference wise, I usually use the dark rosin, which is very, very versatile. It can be used from violin to viola to cello. Yeah, and we have here Yan. And I've been using this for how many years? Maybe more than two years since I discovered it. And I'll give you a tip the yearly Himiglaka sale coming up. Please, please watch out for that because this baby over here will be in a promotional price. Please visit the store or you may visit the website to know more about the specs. 
I'm so excited to try this. Can I, can I get this home? Yes. Can I keep it home? I wish I can keep it home. And I'm also excited for you guys to try this out. Beginner friendly, intermediate, and for those who work professionally like me, I would definitely 101% recommend the Cremona SV180 BKE. To know more about this new Cremona violin and of course other promos from JB Music Philippines, please do follow, like, and share our post at JB Music Philippines on FB, IG, TikTok, and YouTube, and on our official website, www.jbmusic.com.ph. See you there. <laughs>